All right, so I want to show you guys how to graph the feasible region in WebAssign. Um, see this feasible region down here? You see a little, the orange line. So that's called the feasible region. It's a shaded region. It's also kind of when you're graphing a system of inequalities. You see these right here? This would be considered a system of inequalities because there are three. There's this top one. That's one, two, and three. All right, so... I just want to kind of focus on how to graph that on WebAssign right now. I had to download a browser called Photon, Photon browser, which has Flash on it. So apparently Safari and Chrome, Google Chrome, don't work on an iPad. I'm doing this on an iPad right now. So I had to download this browser. So let me see. It's a photon, but photon, this is the photon browser. Like I said, the, the icon is in the lower right. It's like a globe with the red around it. So down there in the lower right of my screen, you can see that. But anyway, if I click on that, this is WebAssign. Now, all right, let me show you how to graph this thing. Point of this video, go to, go to one of my homework assignments. 80, so I'm going to put a line. By clicking that, that's a line, not a ray. So I'm going to go to 80 and then 90. Put a dot on 80 and 90. Man, it works really well on an iPad. I just literally, I touched those points. Now, those points may not be correct. If I click here, yeah, they are correct. So 80, 0, and 0, 91. That's nice. So that's one line. Notice that that's called a line, right? Not a ray. I got to get other lines on my other, any, my other inequalities where... For instance, y greater than zero, y greater than or equal to zero. So I can pick any two points on the x-axis. And so I'm going to be shading up on that. For my third line, I need to be on the y-axis. And that's it. So there are my lines. Now i got to fill. Go to OK. And just click that. Now, sometimes you got to fill up here. There's different play, there's different areas, so you gotta know what you're doing. In this case, there's a budget. So I already showed you kind of over here what I was trying to. Oops. So we were trying to graph that. So let's say we already solved it and we were trying to get that feasible region there. So that's what we did just now. So I wanna fill here. Let me fill, oops. Fill in here. So that's it. You see what I did? I picked, just touched a couple points, and they have to be lines, not rays. Someone got the wrong answer. They, so if I clear this, I saw another person do something where, where they used a line for 70 and 90, or, or I forgot, what was it, 80 and 90? Let's clear that. Don't, don't use a ray. I, I think someone, with that middle one is a ray. I think somebody was going like, for the bottom one, they were doing that, and then they created another ray here, and they went up like that. Let me move that, actually, like there. And then they did, like, another line, like, whatever. I, I don't know if these numbers are correct, but you get the point. And then they filled like that, and that marked it wrong because they were using rays and not lines. Okay, so make sure you see, see over here it says ray, right here, ray. Don't use rays. You got to use three lines here in order to get this right. Wow, I'm happy that this uh, Photon browser, I just downloaded this browser, and it works on WebAssign. It's pretty cool. I had to pay $5 for it, but it works. All right, that's it.